Hi, everyone. My name is Lily Davudian, and I'm joined today by my colleague, Dennis Guzzi. We are the Microsoft Federal Security Experts, and we're super excited to share more about a workbook that we recently released in Microsoft Sentinel. This workbook is the DOD Zero Trust Workbook, and it's meant to help guide our customers in better aligning to the DOD Zero Trust requirements. Let's get started. In 2022, we released the Microsoft Digital Defense Report, and we were really um, surprised to find that almost half of the attacks that we found um, by nation state actors were against the US government network. So we've noticed over the past few years that there's been a real rise in both the sophistication and volume of attacks towards the US government network. And we've seen the US government change their perspectives and approaches towards cloud security accordingly. Dennis, do you think you could tell us a little bit about some of the shifts in, in mindsets and approach that we've seen in this space? Yep. So in 2022, the, the DOD actually released uh, their zero, zero Trust Adoption Framework uh, that has 152 different controls that they are focused on. And I've worked in government uh, almost my entire career. Uh, and it didn't surprise me, having spent that entire time, uh, almost that entire time working in government, that volume uh, of, of percentage of attacks. But these controls that that were released, uh, and anybody who's worked in government knows that uh, a lot of government agencies, a lot of healthcare, a lot of organizations in general, when these controls are released uh, at, a, at a federal level, they flow through uh, everything from government agencies to to health and even commercial organizations, uh, the those types of attacks and then using these types of controls as a benchmark to evaluate that the the safety of your environment uh, become pretty critical. So the 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 things that we're seeing and the the methodology that we're going to talk about in inside of this workbook are going to be how the the uh, Microsoft can help our customers address those controls specifically. But really, it's it's that focus and that shift away from that legacy mindset from a security perspective, and focusing more on the the modern threats that that our customers are facing, not just in the federal government space, but across the the entire landscape. Right, that's a great point. I mean, I think we've definitely seen customers across the spectrum leverage these zero trust frameworks more in their architectures. So I mentioned that. This is a workbook that we've released in Microsoft Sentinel. Can you tell us a little bit about Sentinel as a platform and why we chose to ship the solution there? Yeah, so uh, Microsoft Sentinel is our uh, seam source solution, uh, but really what it is, is it, it's it's a solution that allows us to bring together uh, a, a, a series of, uh, of information sources and present the, the those information sources in a clear uh, and concise way for our customers. And it's not just Microsoft centric, it's the ability for, for that solution uh, that's born in the cloud, that lives in the cloud, that's rapidly able to, uh, to build and, and, and grow from all these different types of sources uh, inside of, uh, of that cloud environment uh, to be able to, to, to quickly and easily visualize and enable and empower those defenders that are out there uh, for you know our federal customers, our, our other government customers, commercial customers, et cetera, uh, in defending their environments. Right, I think that's a great point. I mean, we know that customers have those on-prem systems, they've made investments in other cloud providers, and Sentinel is that great way that we bring all of those insights together and help customers really double click on investments they've made in and out of Microsoft, which is awesome. And so how specifically does this workbook um, function? Can you tell me a little bit about it? So the, the way the workbook functions is it evaluates uh, the, the, the different uh, capabilities that are running inside of a customer's environment and provides scoring and provides information related to those 152 activities uh, that the DOD released as, as part of that zero trust adoption framework and provide some information, uh, methodologies for resolution if you're not uh, meeting those capabilities, et, et cetera. And I think we're actually going to get into a, a, a demo of that uh, in a moment here. Yeah, should we jump into the workbook? I think we, yeah, I think we should. Let's get into the workbook. Awesome. So here we have the 
um, DOD Zero Trust Workbook, and you can see it lives natively in Microsoft Sentinel. We did build this with the DOD in mind, so it's something that we've released across our government regions as well, and you can see that today the demo that we'll use is from that Azure government environment. So what's the, the workbook going to do for a, a customer's environment? Like, what are they going to see inside of the, the workbook? Yeah, it's an awesome question. So um, to start, let's let's talk a little bit about some of these parameters at the top. And you know, the the first glance can be a bit overwhelming. So to make it easier, we do have this getting started toggle that you can turn on if it's your first time in, in the workbook. This is really a lot of those kind of prerequisites, like what roles do I need in Sentinel? Do I need to deploy a log analytics workspace? What connectors would be helpful to enable? So a lot of times when we release workbooks, we get a ton of questions from customers when it's their first time enabling it. And we've tried to really aggregate that into a one-stop shop. So if it's your first time in the workbook, definitely check this out so you can make sure you have all your prerequisites set up. We also have a lot of parameters at the top so that you can try and customize this as you need. If you want to look across workspaces, you can do that and you can also alter the time frame so you can get that 30 day view, that 90 day, that long term understanding of changes. Or you can look at the last 24 hours or the last few days to see how you're doing um, at, a, at a certain point in time. So I know. Uh, a big question we get from customers, you and I get this question all the time, but does the workbook focus only on the Microsoft specific capabilities or do we work with with other providers as well? Yeah, it's an awesome question. From from our perspective, in order to really have that holistic security approach, we love bringing in partners. Um, we know that customers have made investments again in and out of Microsoft, and we want to make it really easy for them to bring all of that signal in one place. So through the power of Microsoft Sentinel connectors, you can bring in telemetry or insights from other um, cloud providers, from other security products, and see all of that in the workbook directly. So I I am moderately technical. I know you're more technical than me. Who should <laughs> use this workbook in, in inside of Sentinel? Yeah, it's a great question. I mean, we really built it with a lot of different roles in mind. Um, we thought about, you know, that security architect who's really thinking about compliance requirements and they're thinking about how do I architect my cloud environment to best meet the DOD requirements so they can use this workbook. We've also thought about the, the managed service providers who are coming in and trying to work on behalf of their customers to help do zero trust assessments. This is a great place for them. Um, the SecOps analysts who are in Sentinel every single day, they can look at the alerts, then the recommended configurations and make those changes. Um, a, a really cool feature that we've built in is this ability to print directly the content to PDF, or you can even print it to um, a real printer. Um, and what I love about this is when you get that initial view of your posture, if you want to use this to share with your leadership team, or if you want to put it on the wall in your sock floor and use it to guide recommended behavior, you can do that. So you don't necessarily need to be using Sentinel regularly to see the value of the workbook. And you can see just from this quick screenshot that it prints in a really kind of easy to read and well formatted page. So I know when I've worked inside of, of Sentinel and I've worked inside of different workbooks, uh, one of the things that that uh, we get asked a lot is about customizing the workbooks. Yeah. Was this workbook designed to be customized as well? 100%. I mean, we've really tried to build something that has the majority of that framework that customers need, but we also recognize that everyone is at a different stage in their zero trust journey. So if you want to bring in the third party tooling, if you want to add specific automations or link to logic apps, all of that is possible. And our teams are super happy to help you customize this as best for your organization. So I, I mentioned it earlier, the, the 152 activities, mm -hmm. and I know this workbook, and I, I, I mentioned it, I, I've worked in different areas inside of Microsoft and, and things that the government does, uh, the federal government does flows through all different types of, of customer types, whether it's state government or healthcare or commercial organizations, et cetera. 
the 152 activities, does the workbook cover all of those activities defined in the strategy? It does. Yeah, it's a great question. So we cover all of the activities across the seven pillars. So if you look here, we we do have all of the seven pillars reflected. If it's your first time in the workbook, I would recommend looking at the tracker and the zero trust capability alignment. So we have a few things I want to kind of quickly point out. So first, we give you this single KPI, this kind of current score. So if you're coming into the workbook for the first time, you can get that super quick kind of one-stop shop understanding of where am I and, and how am I looking relative to the zero trust maturity. Um, so that's, that's an awesome place to start. That number is based on this tracker that you can see here. So for each of the pillars, we dive into the capability and give you a score based on if you've implemented it, if you have plans to implement it, or if you haven't even started thinking about it. And what's really great about this is we allow you to make some changes manually. So if you are, again, using a third-party tool to meet this requirement, you can still alter the status to implement it and, and add those kind of free text notes that you're using a, a third-party and, and that that's how you're meeting this requirement. So this is a really great way to, to kind of see that high level. And again, when we think about the Microsoft mapping for each of the pillars and each of the capabilities, we've aligned that to the Microsoft suite. So if you are using Defender for Cloud or if you are using Intune, you can really quickly see how that maps to the different capabilities. And if there's a product that you're interested in learning more about, we have this great reference here where we link further to the Microsoft documentation. So if you see, you know, Entra come up a lot and you're like, well, that might be something that I want to turn on to improve my posture, but I, I really don't know what that is. You can look at the recommended resources and learn more and see if that's a tool that you want to add to your security suite. Outstanding. I the interesting thing about this is I'm I uh, I've used the the secure score capabilities in our Microsoft products whether it's in Defender or uh, in our uh, Microsoft 365 uh, capabilities and this feels very similar uh, to that in terms of the score so I think a lot of uh, users who have used the, those those uh, the the secure score capabilities this will feel very familiar to them especially that uh, the the scoring and the, the capabilities are uh, are listed there. Uh, so what's next? what what does somebody do if they want to get started in using the, the the workbook? Where do they begin? Yeah, it's a great question. So if you want to turn this on for the first time in Sentinel, you'll go into Content Hub and you'll find the DoD Zero Trust Workbook and you'll deploy that into your, your log analytics workspace and you can go ahead and get up and running. Um, we love hearing feedback from customers on how they're using it and what they might want improved. So feel free to, to answer the survey at the top here. We do read all of the feedback. Um, your feedback can be specific or broad, but we'd love to learn how you're using it, what changes you might have so we can make this even better. That was going to be my last question. How do people give feedback? So it's that's great. So uh, I, I think we've got a, a, a bunch of great, uh, great data points to get everybody started here with the Zero Trust Workbook. Awesome. Thanks, Dennis. And thanks, everyone, for joining us today. Thank you. Thanks.